last night was a bit traumatizing. I was like, what? I really, really love it. Saturday you guys it is a beautiful day today and today I am going to tackle some projects hubby and I I mean that that's been every day I don't know why I'm acting like it's something new basically we I just I don't know I haven't picked up the camera to really vlog the last few days just because we've been doing things like we like all this week we've been working on this laminate flooring in this area and i'll insert some clips of us doing it um me and jeremy both did the flooring together and it actually was a lot easier than we expected it to be and then jeremy tackled all the baseboards he did a really good job um the baseboards seem to be a little bit more challenging than i thought just like getting the cuts to get, be good and everything to be right but we finally have the floor laid. It looks really good. Um, So that's completed and it looks good and I'll show you guys what that's looking like. Excuse all of the mess, but this is what it looks like right now and it looks really, really good. But today what I'm working on is this fireplace. So I also started concreting the fireplace before it had the tile around it. The tile is still there. I just pretty much concreted over it. And then I went back and forth between two different things. At first I was going to just remove the mantle which i did and then concrete this whole half section of the fireplace area and then just build my own little floating mantle above it but then i decided well maybe i'll just still use the mantle repurpose that sand it down paint it do all that stuff and then allow this center area to be concreted and then the mantle to be over the concrete and then i'm painting all of these wood panelings which i really want to get to today and then paint 
the mantle the same exact color as the wood area and have that just be like this cohesive looking thing with the pop of concrete. I really just was going back and forth. I still am not confident in exactly which way I wanna go, but right now that's just kind of where I'm at. So I wanna finish concreting the area because down here, it's still very, it's still very gapped. So I have to fill in that with concrete. I didn't get to do it the other day because I ran out of concrete. So now that I have some more, I could finish that. But I want to, I just want to get busy and productive because I really want this room to get finished. Like I'm going to end up putting wallpaper on this wall behind me. And then all the other walls are going to be painted the same color as this wood area so i'm excited i have a vision i just i just really want it to come to life and i'm ready for it to be completed but if you guys are interested in like seeing like more in depth of like what we're doing to the house comment that below because i don't know i, I know some people want the content to stick to what it was um, and then I know some people also want to see what's going on with the house. So just let me know what you guys would prefer. Um, but if not, I've, I've been sharing on Instagram if you guys want to see a lot more over there. So definitely go to my Instagram and check that check that out. I've been posting in my highlights and things. Um, but yeah, so we are going to get busy. I placed the Lowe's order to get a paint sprayer because there's so many paint projects we got going on and I just feel like it's time we get a paint sprayer. You know, just stuff needs to get going. We got these kids to take care of so we can't, stuff needs to move quickly. Let's get to it. so much better but change of plans it's gonna be a change of plans all of this is coming off I'm gonna paint everything I'm just gonna paint everything I feel like it'll be better today I just want to share how last night was a bit traumatizing so I'm sitting down on the couch Jeremy's sitting down on the couch we're just talking and stuff and all of a sudden you can have this I scared her with this Okay, I'm sorry, baby. I won't. I'm sorry. Anyways, so I was sitting on the couch. Jeremy was sitting next to me, and all of a sudden, he like looks behind me, like like this scared look. And here's this bug crawling on the wall behind me. And so, of course, I got scared. He kills it, and we're just sitting there, like very uncomfortable, because we literally kill bugs in this house daily, multiple daily, and. 
it has gotten better but then there are days where it go it goes backwards like there was this huge spider sitting on my shoe as i was going to insert my foot and like it looked like a baby tarantula i'll insert a little clip or picture because i know jeremy took a photo or a video of it and then the same day jeremy encounters this big huge centipede in the basement just too much too much for a day but we just have been like on it on a roller coaster of like feeling like okay we patched up we we sealed the baseboards we sealed the windows we freaking taped off certain things like we're you know and then we see something and it just throws everything off and it makes us feel very uncomfortable and we are just far from being used to living like this you know and so yesterday I felt like I was getting better again and then last night that happened and then literally literally like a minute later another bug came crawling up the wall in like the same fashion right after the first one and then there was a bug that dropped on my arm I don't know if it came from my blanket that I was under or if it dropped from the ceiling because I was like right under a light fixture that was not sealed good at all so there's just there has just been a lot of discomfort when it comes to this bug problem. And I know a lot of people keep saying like, yeah, the country, the country, but I don't agree. I know I'm not from the country, but I believe that it doesn't matter where you're at. If your house is sealed, your house is sealed. Like bugs are gonna be outside, like that's a no brainer. But in your house, house is not up to par. That's just truly how I feel. And so this house, I know for a fact, is not that is why we really just cannot wait for this house to be wrapped new windows just everything and we're doing what we can in the meantime redoing the flooring redoing the baseboards just making sure everything is sealed and nothing is able to come into the house through the framing you know because we know that there are bugs in the attic we know that there are bugs within the walls of our home but it's like if things aren't sealed properly of course they're gonna get in so we're doing our part inside the house and we just cannot wait for the exterior to be done but i say all that to say it's time to get to work we are going to be removing this carpet these little carpet pieces here and i already know that's going to expose some holes some things that i don't want to expose so we really want to tackle getting the flooring done on that today but before we even lay any laminate, we're gonna paint these panels. So this is primer that we use. And so we're gonna paint um, the walls and everything before we lay the flooring. So that way we don't have to worry about like super taping off and being super clean about it. Daddy. Spider.
is the next day, next morning. Um, so last night, once we like just kind of wrapped up doing everything we were doing, we headed out to Whole Foods to get some groceries and things. And as we were coming back from Whole Foods, I just happened to like kind of inquire about a, a sliding door that we are getting installed actually today. Um, but I inquired about it yesterday to Jeremy and basically he ended up telling me that the slider we're getting, it has the built-in blinds and I was like, what? The built-in blinds? Because all this time I was thinking we were just getting plain, regular patio door sliders. And he was like, yeah. And he sent me like the the contract and everything, which he had actually sent me a month prior. And I just never got around to looking at it. And so finding out the night before we're getting patio doors installed that it is absolutely something I do not like I was like I was just not happy like I don't like it I don't like I don't like the idea of it I don't like that I would be stuck with that visual like if I wanted to change something down the line it's like no the the, the blinds are in there you know um and this is not a cheap purchase. And so I was really just like all over the place, like feeling so emotional about the fact that we're paying all this money for something I don't even like. And I ended up telling Jeremy last night to just cancel it. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it, <laughs> you know? But then he talked to the guy and he was just saying like, basically like these doors are pretty much like double the price that we're paying for them and that they're really good doors and the blinds you know basically like he was trying to convince us that like we'd end up liking them like liking the way they looked and yada 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 and so jeremy was just telling me like we're basically getting a good deal for this and so that just kind of made me say like fine you know fine just let's just go through with it and so currently right now they're installing it I don't know if you guys can hear the noise down there but they're working on it and I'm just praying <laughs> and hoping that it is something that I like because if not I'm gonna be stuck with something that I do not like for a very long time. And it's just kind of like a hard pill to swallow, especially because initially I wanted French doors. <laughs> initially I wanted French doors, baby. <laughs> and then that was just hard to come by, especially because we were on a time limit with things, especially more so because of the bug issue and like how those doors just are not they're just old and they're allowing bugs to come in and so it was just something we wanted rushed like we wanted them to be in quickly and so this was like the quickest route for us and so that's why we ended up going with it and i compromised the french doors for just a slider because it was what they had on hand and they would have you know they were able to install it quickly um so it was like that was my first compromise and then the second compromise is now the fact that there's blinds in between the glass and i just i really don't like that i don't know i just hope i like it once everything comes together but it is what it is i guess we can pay those. <laughs> Dude. 
so the slider guy is actually just left right now to go to Lowe's. And of course, they left a big old hole, you know what I'm saying? And as you guys know, we've been battling ladybugs, so I feel like we mastered that. Like, we got rid of them, right? You know what I'm saying? But now we're taking on silverfish and centipedes. But here we are with the wall wide open for them to just come on in. So I have to put up some blankets with some thumbtacks until they get back. I'm just like, come on, bro. But I mean, they apologize. You know, they just needed some more material, so they can't be too mad, right? I even put some over here as well. Like the thing is, like we've really been like going hard on just cocking everything up. I mean, it's so many like just cracks and crevices that these little bugs be in and come through. But I feel like we're gonna do all that stuff all over. Look at the door. <laughs> like, like we have to put painters tape around, bro. Like, you definitely gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, right? Whatever works. Also got one over there as well. I'll be so glad when everything is just done and every all the siding's up, the windows are up, and then we can just have our little breather. Did you see the, the doors? Yeah. What you think? I mean, they're not my favorite. I just, you know, I, it's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. Yeah, you're not happy about it? I mean, it is what it is. That's kind of how I feel. Understandable. Give me a hug. What's up you guys? It is, I think a day later or two days later, something like that. Um, we are nearing the finish line of this living room remodel, renovation, whatever you wanna call it. I feel like I got a lot done yesterday and the day before yesterday. I just was able to just, I don't know. I don't know what changed, but I was able to get a lot done and I'm starting to see my vision come to life and I'm excited to share it and show you guys. So the last couple days, I did a lot of painting. We finished all the painting. I painted the mantle. I completely finished um, leveling out the cement. I sprayed the inside of the fireplace to give it like a new and fresh look. I put up some wallpaper. I didn't quite finish the wallpaper just yet because I ran out yesterday. So I need to go to Lowe's and pick up just one more roll of wallpaper. I put up a curtain rod. My curtains actually got delivered yesterday. I'm so excited to put those up today. All I need to do is paint the baseboards and finish that. Um, seal up a couple little things that need sealing and then decorate like it is time to decorate and then obviously our windows we're gonna get new windows so once that that's done and then my rug gets here like everything's gonna be completed but there is one more little diy project i have to do before it's like complete complete which is make um a coffee table i want to make like a wooden coffee table um so maybe i'll do that maybe the end of this week or the next week something like that we'll, we'll see but I'm excited. I'm excited about how everything is looking and I just, I cannot wait to decorate. I'm just so ready to decorate. But let me show you guys what we have going so far. So the curtain rod is up. I just have to put on the, the cap to that once I actually put the curtains up. But curtain rod is up, it looks good. Over here, we have finished painting all of the panels. We put in the shelving. We just have to finish the trim. We ran out of material, so we just have to finish and cap off just the end piece so it has more of a finished look. And then over here, our fireplace area, which is my favorite, it looks so good. It looks like just, it looks new. It looks brand new to me. And I'm so pleased, so happy with how it turned out. And it was such an easy way to upgrade it and such an affordable way to upgrade the fireplace like all i did was buy a spray can to paint the inside of the fireplace and then i bought some cement each box of cement cost 19 dollars. it was a it was a certain type of cement I, I i would have to link that for you guys each box was 19 dollars. i bought three and used two and a half but honestly i could have used way less because i ended up cementing way past 
the you know what's revealed because of my initial plan of what I was going to submit so I'm pretty sure I could have got away with maybe two boxes maybe one and a half to complete this job so very inexpensive and then I just bought some paint to paint the mantle which was no more than forty dollars but yeah so that looks good then we have some wallpaper that I put up yesterday I got this from Lowe's it's the property brothers brand and I'm just obsessed I love this green color I have not finished over here yet once I do that it'll you know this will be like my accent wall right here and I want to my finger keeps going into focus I'm trying not to do that but I want to buy some molding to border off this open way right here and give it more of a clean and finished look and then I also want to cock the the top of this wallpaper wall so that it looks nice and finished and just capped off really nice and neat because up here you can see it's not very even and so I just want to clean that up and make it look much better what do you guys think so far how do you think it looks I love it I really really love it I'm so happy with it and like I said I cannot wait to decorate I don't know I just feel very happy already and it's not even stays there's no decor up yet so I feel like I'm really 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 going to love it but we are probably going to end the video here and hopefully next video everything will be completed my rug will be here my DIY table would be finished and I will get to reveal the big finished look for you guys so thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one